You did it yourself? Yeah! Oh no! Are you gonna sit up in it? No, no, stop, stop! Don't hit the power! Don't hit the power! Oh, it's falling down! Yep. Okay. You can get in it, don't hit the throttle. Oh, my, my, my big boy fast fight can't work. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Redneck Computer Geek. If you've been following my channel for quite a while, this is the power wheel that I upgraded to a car battery, and then in the same video I also switched it over so that it was a lawn tractor battery, aka this one, that is currently really really old um it was made in 2012 it's currently 2015 fall of 2015 so it's been through hell and back again with driving this power wheel around and so it's quite heavy i mean it's a good five six pounds i would bet and it's ginormous <clears throat> and then we've got our old-fashioned car car trickle charger and if you saw the golo video where we run the power wheel off of a car emergency booster pack this was actually in water and it actually was still functional um i put a battery tester on it after drying it out and the trickle charger actually still works but yet again this weighs like a good full pound so you've got a total of about six to eight pounds worth of weight that you're adding to the front of a power wheel that was meant to drive around a child of about 30 pounds so as any racer knows the more weight that you can eliminate the faster that you can go so we have decided that we're going to upgrade the power wheel to a lithium battery and that's how we ended up with this this is a featherweight WPS lithium battery. Um, at the time of purchase, these were about $80 on Amazon. I'll include a link for it. And then we also decided to swap over to one of these Black & Decker chargers. Yet again, we're on weight reduction. So, the crazy thing about this is that this Black & Decker charger is the same as this. Only... It weighs nothing whatsoever. This weighs like a good pound, pound and a half. This practically weighs nothing. Johnny can throw it around. Now, the scary part past that is that this, oh, heavy thing, this is a 400 cranking amp lawn tractor battery. Now, 400 cranking amp, it is severe overkill for driving this power wheel, but I wanted to make sure that when Johnny was out running around, he wanted to pretend he was as cool as Dad, as cool as Bubba, that he would be able to do what he wanted to. This would run close to about two hours worth of charge. But the problem with this is that it took anywhere from around six and a half to eight hours to fully recharge which meant that Johnny could run the power wheel play with it and they had to park it the rest of the day and maybe get to run it at the end of the day before going to bed this is the featherweight battery pack this is a WPS featherweight it is a hundred and fifty cranking amp battery with a 300 cranking amp top and Johnny absolutely loves it because it has a built-in tester we'll see if you can see this on video but it'll indicate whether it's fully charged or not and ready to go so this fits in there and this at nothing for weight fits in there and we have found that this system will actually run we've had this set up now for around a couple of weeks this system will actually run the power wheel for about 30 minutes to an hour it really depends on whether he decides to really off-road it or not 
But considering the amount that I had to cut out of the power wheel frame in order to mount the original battery box, you literally could probably mount this inside of a Folgers can. From here, later on, we're going to upgrade to a 24 volt system using another one of these lithium batteries and see what we can do with this power wheel. And also follow up, we're going to probably pull this battery this winter in order to set up the cranking battery for the gas powered power wheel that we run and go from there. So thanks guys. And here's a little bit of footage of Johnny running around with this and it's significantly faster than the original setup. Oh, I gotta open the door? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. All right, there you go. Run after him! Get after him, not after me! Don't! Okay. Oh! Okay. As you can see, it's a drastic improvement on how it was driving because of the weight loss along with everything else. Now, it was more expensive. In order to set up with a lawn tractor battery, the charger would have been about 20 bucks the battery on the other hand because it, if you use a lawn tractor battery it's lead would have been only about 45 to 50 bucks sometimes even cheaper that particular battery at 80 bucks was a very large investment for a very old power wheel but we've got more ideas to come on this power wheel build so stay tuned